Welcome guys, my name is Suha Malik and in this video I am going to show you how to make this inventory count sheet or inventory logbook in PowerPoint. So before doing this, if you are new to my channel then do subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any new video from me. So let's get started. You can see here this is inventory count sheet. You can also call this as inventory logbook or inventory log sheet. You can see here on the top bar this is inventory count written and then is sheet number then counted by then date and here on the log page on the disk main log or log page or log sheet that is item number R S K U description location and the final column is quantity. So I have create, recreated this uh, inventory count sheet or inventory logbook in PowerPoint and I am going to show you this. Let's see. You can see here I have created this inventory logbook sheet number counted by date, item number, disk, item description, location and quantity. So in this video I am going to show you how to recreate this using PowerPoint. First of all you need to uh, uh, resize your template that is 8.5 into 11 and then we will be creating just make uh, let me make a new slide that is new blank slide here get rid of this all and now first we will set our margins the margins is inside for the left page there is left page this is left page inside margin is 0.375 and the outside margin is 0.25 so total page width is let me calculate total page width is 8.5 minus inside margin inside margin is 0.375 you can check this on kdp manuscript page minus the outside margin is 0.25 and to, uh, you, uh, you also need to leave 0.25 for the top and 0.25 inches for the bottom as well so in this way our width would be 7.875 for creating interiors and our height would be page height would be 11 minus just 11 minus 0 0.25, uh, 0.25 from the top and minus 0.25 from the bottom so in this way this would be our safe area 10.5 and head width would be 7.875 so let first let's first get the our interior our margins so go to insert from the shapes select this rectangle and draw a rectangle here and here change the height to 10.5 and the width to 7.875 okay now go to click on this shape and go to shape fill and change to no fill and from the outline select this color black one now click on this and right click on this and then go to size and position and here you can see 10.5 into 7.8 it means 875 so now scroll down and on the position element position window now horizontal position would be 0.375 and vertical position would be 0.25 set this and then click now here is our safe area in this area we will be creating our interior and remember this is the left page if you need, you need to create the right page then you need to duplicate this and then on the right page just first delete this, uh, move this down. This is our left page, this is our right page. On the right page, you need to click on this 
and from the size and position simply change the horizontal position to 0.25 and wow this is our left page and this is our right page that is out outer margin is uh, 0.25 and inner margin is 0.375 on the left page outer inner margin is inside margin is 0.375 and outside margin is 0.25 so now we have our uh, working area or safe area for creation of interior so let's first create this first uh, rectangle shape go to insert and from the shapes draw a rectangle here like this and move it down select its size to 0.75 7.5 okay now click on this and shape fill to black shape fill to black and outline to no outlines now click on this shape while holding shift from your keyboard type inventory i all caps inventory let me zoom so that you can see inventory log book like this now click on this shape and reduce its width width to 0.5 like this now next create our second line that is sheet number counted by and date just simply go to insert and table and just add one row and one table one column and one row sorry one column and one row and drag it toward the right side to make it equal to the top bar now go to table design and table design from the shading click and no fill and from the borders all borders and here start writing and first select the text color to black now write sheet number not bold sheet number then press shift and underscore while holding shift press underscore several times now click on now write counted by colon shift and press underscore several times while holding shift now write date colon and while holding shift press underscore several times not underscore it is dash that is located uh, beside zero or within zero and plus and minus now click on this table this one and from the table design go to borders and click on no borders it will remove all the borders next we need to add a simple table like this that is this one item number item description location and quantity to do that you can you need to go to table design table insert table and select four go to tab insert table and number of column four and number of rows 24 and hit enter now select this table and from the layout reduce the line to line height to 0.36 now move this table toward the top and arrange this in a way that it is totally aligned to the top two tables now select click on this table from the table design click on insight uh, click on shading and no fill and no select all this these table and 
from the table design shading and no fill and from the table design borders and select all borders in this way we will have a table like this if you see that it is more space toward the end you can add more lines or rows first move it down like this and here just zoom in no just zoom and click here and from the layout click insert below this will add a new line below so now select this first call uh, first call row select all the columns in first row and then from the table design click on shading and hit click on black now we have our top row for this table is totally black now click in the first column first uh, column and from the home select the text color to white and start writing item number first you need to resize this click on this line and move it toward the right drag by dragging it now item desk corruption location and if you need to uh, move toward the next column you, all you need to do is hit tab from your keyboard for example i have written uh, location and i need to go to the next column all i need to do is shift and uh, click on tab and it will automatically go into the next uh, column now write quantity so that's that's all we have done our simple log inventory log just have a look by going to slideshow and from the begin this is our newly created page uh, and next we have need to create duplicate this page to create our second page first i need to delete uh, click on this and leave a duplicate slide now you can see this uh, number one was the left page and number two is the right page to make a right page we need to move this margin line so firstly first click on this out margin line and right click and size and position as i have already shown in this video make the horizontal to horizontal position to 0.25 this will move the line toward the left side so all you need to do is move your interior as well select all these items or uh, sections and from the keyboard uh, click on the right left arrow and move them almost in the middle here you can see we have created our right page now we need to delete this outer lines outer margins this is just click on this outer margin and hit delete from your keyboard and now go down and this is our right page click on this margin and hit delete from your keyboard now we have two pages that are slightly different in respect with respect to the position that is for left page and for right page now we need uh, we will delete the previously created pages we have uh, our left page and we have our right page now i will select both of these pages and all i need to do is duplicate them as many times uh, by clicking control plus d and make 100 pages in this way i am holding control from my keyboard and pressing i have made 100 pages in this way we have created our simple inventory logbook next we will export this go to file and export and save it as pdf so in this way we have created new inventory log click publish and our book is being published to it
PDF. Now let's wait and see. This is our secondly uh, created book and it has alternate pages left page, right page. You can see here these pages are perfectly aligned and perfectly created and I will leave a link to the source file for this uh, logbook. You can buy this for only one dollar from Creative Fabrica and if you are uh, find it helpful then do subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell notification that is all from me today see you in the next video